Hey, hey everyone. Today we are taking a trip to the Bahamas and I'm gonna be showing you how to make Johnny cake, a really traditional breakfast or lunch recipe that's made in the Bahamas. So keep on watching and we're gonna go through step by step exactly how you can make it at home. Welcome to the Four and Fork kitchen. My name is Alexandria and this is the Four and Fork where we're cooking one meal from every country in the world. And today we are taking a trip to the Bahamas and we're gonna be making a very popular recipe there called Johnny Cake. It's really, really simple. It's kind of like a mix between a biscuit and a not so sweet cake. Um, it's eaten for breakfast and it's also, you can dip your Johnny Cake into soups to soak up the broth and those kinds of things too. So. We're gonna get started. There's only a couple ingredients and it's gonna be really easy to throw together. The first thing that you're gonna need is one stick or about a half cup of softened butter. To that, I'm gonna add my three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. And then I'm gonna use my electric hand mixer and beat everything until it's fluffy. Next, we're gonna add a half cup of water, a half teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, and four cups of flour. Now some versions of this recipe don't use all-purpose flour, instead they use um, corn flour maybe. I actually, so this recipe is actually really special to me because I got it while I was visiting the Bahamas. So this is the way that um, the person that I met, this is the way that they had made this recipe. However, there are other variations. So if you make this recipe a different way, leave a note in the comments and tell me what you change, because I love reading about all the different variations. So you can see now that our batter is not quite batter yet. It's a little bit flaky still. It hasn't really combined into a dough. So the last thing that you're gonna need to do is roll up your sleeves if you can, take off your glove, or take off your rings if you need to. And you're gonna add three quarters of a cup of milk. Um, and this is an approximation, so you might need a little more, might need a little less. I'll drizzle a little bit in there now. Um, mix it up a little and then I'll drizzle the rest in. And once it gets to the point where you wanna start combining it into a, a actual dough, you can use your hands to do that too, which is why we rolled up our sleeves because we're gonna get a little messy. So I'm kneading it just a little bit. I'm not gonna knead it a lot, but I'm just gonna knead it until everything comes together into one ball of dough, like so. You can see it's starting to work. So we can see that this dough is still a little bit flaky and um, it's not quite as pulled together as I want it to be. So I'm just gonna put a tiny little extra splash of milk in there. Not a lot, I don't want it to get too runny, but then I'm gonna use my hands to mix that in and I think that that is gonna give us what we want. And now the dough is all together in one ball. There's no extra flakiness from the flour there. And so it's time to bake it. Typically, if you're cooking this the traditional way, you would use a, a round cast iron skillet. We're gonna use what we have on hand today, so instead I'm gonna be cooking it in a nine by nine square dish. However, if you'd like to cook it in a cast iron skillet, you are more than welcome to. No matter what way you're cooking your Johnny cake, make sure that you're gonna be greasing the pan that you're cooking it in. So I have some just cold butter, and I'm just gonna rub it on the bottom and the sides of my pan to make sure that nothing sticks as it's cooking. Then you just have to put the dough into the pan. You can kind of press it down with your hands. Your, the Johnny cake is not gonna rise very much at all, so you don't have to worry about it overflowing really. Um, it'll rise a tiny bit, but for the most part, it'll stay exactly how big it is in this pan. My oven is preheated to 325 degrees, and this is gonna cook for about an hour or until it starts to get golden brown on top, and um, if you stick a toothpick in it, it's cooked all the way through. And as soon as you're done cooking it, you get to enjoy. Now the best way that I recommend eating the Johnny Cake is hot, fresh out of the oven. You can slather it with some butter, like I'm gonna do, and then put a little bit of jam on top. And that's a really traditional way to eat it for breakfast. I love that you can make this Johnny Cake into whatever you want it to be. You can have it be a sweet dessert. You can have it be a delicious breakfast with the cheese. It is an awesome recipe, it's very versatile, and I am so glad that I get to show you a recipe that I learned while I was in the Bahamas. If you ever want to see the written instructions for this recipe, check out the link in the description of the video down below. And then also don't forget to check out the other recipes that are on my site for dishes from all around the world. I love hanging out with you guys every week and I love cooking with you. Let me know if you make this and leave a review in the comments and I will talk to you next week. Bye.